The Vijayanagara Empire was founded by Brother Sariharan and Bukka in the uh, 14th century. But at that point in time, Vijayanagara Empire was only a very small kingdom, confined to a very small uh, area. It became very powerful and rich during Krishna Devaraya's period. Krishna Devaraya ruled only for 20 years, from 1509 to 1529. But during that period, Vijayanagara became very, very, very powerful. So powerful that Krishna, Raya, Krishna Devaraya controlled the entire east and the west coasts. His kingdom stretched from Katak, which is the mo in modern day modern day Orissa, right up to Kanyakumari, on the uh, and on the east coast and on the west coast from Goa to Kanyakumari. So he practically ruled over the entire southern uh, peninsula. So it was very powerful and very rich. So he controlled all the ports, all the harbors in on both sides of the uh, kingdom, the eastern seas and also the western seas. And trading reached its peak because it was during that period the Portuguese set their foot on Indian soil for the first time. So earlier the trade was restricted mostly to Persians, Arabians on the western side and to people from uh, the Chinese origin and Mongolian race from the, uh, on the eastern side. While Persians and uh, Arabians used to come from the western side on the west coast. But it was the first time that the Portuguese set their foot and the Portuguese were very rich at that point in time having occupied a large part of uh, uh, Latin America and other countries, they were very rich and they were very shrewd business people. So business, industry and uh, trade, commerce, everything thrived under Krishna Devaraya. And the Portuguese became very friendly to Krishna Devaraya because Krishna Devaraya wanted had uh, fights with almost all his uh, northern uh, enemies. So he wanted someone by his side and uh, the Portuguese provided him with the much needed support of artillery and other uh, you know, uh, guns and other stuff. And that made Vijayanagara a very, very, very wealthy empire. Some of the Portuguese chroniclers like uh, Pius and uh, Nunzi, they have written a lot about how the markets looked like in uh, during those period, uh, Krishna Devaraya's period. And they vouch for the fact, which you have just said, that the markets were flooded with gems and uh, the valuables were kept in heaps and uh, they were uh, sold in, on the, uh, in the markets. And uh, so it is, a recorded fact that uh, uh, you know precious uh, metals, gold, gems, and uh, all uh, all those things were heaped and sold in Vijayanagara market at Hampi. And uh, if you happen to visit uh, Hampi, you can uh, go and look uh, for a place called the King's Scale. It is it is uh, said that Krishna Devaraya used to you know weigh himself in uh, precious metals and uh, gift all those to uh, the needy people. You can still go and uh, visit that. Uh, King scale, which is very close to the Vitala temple, the famous Vitala temple. When it comes to thieves, definitely wealth attracts thieves. We don't have any records of uh, theft or robbery or burglary. It doesn't mean that it did not happen during that period. Definitely, there would have been thieves, there could have been uh, burglaries, thefts, everything. Uh, but de definitely people who were owning all these uh, riches knew how to protect them. They had their own personal army. The policing there uh, during that period was very effective. It says that if there is a theft, and if a particular property is not recovered within a stipulated period, then the investigating police officer has to make good the losses to the person who lost it. Which means the police officer was in, who was investigating the case has to pay in cash or kind. So yes, there, we go. there used to be thefts there. Right from the day jewels were found, uh, were invented, definitely thefts would have come into place. <laughs> 